Good day. We're down at Camel's Art Gallery with curator Taro Neville, who is joining us today to talk about the latest exhibit here in the main gallery. It's called All Membranes Are Porous. Welcome back. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for having me. This is a very colorful uh, one. There's a lot of different mm -hmm. stuff going on here. Yes, this work in particular, this is by Zoe Cry. She's an artist from Vancouver. Uh, the entire exhibition is six artists, so it's a group exhibition, and the theme is around the body. So you'll see flesh-colored walls, and I'll put that in quotes because flesh can be different colors. Uh, so it's, it's really addressing the body in a, in a kind of open framework. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at right behind us here? I mean, the, the objects that are on the foam, what, what is this about? This entire project um, is an installation made out of foam and ceramic objects. And uh, Zoe made these in response to a loss that she had in her life. And so she was thinking about uh, the way that maybe objects can stand in for somebody's physical body. Um, and so this whole project involves workshops that she does. She just did one here um, where she asks people to take these objects and um, use them on their own body and think about um, maybe a, a sense of absence or presence. Um, I was in the workshop and it was quite really incredible. Well, first of all, that you can touch the, these fragile objects and maybe um, attach them to your own body and um, play with them. Dark room over it's here. What goes room. on over here? <laughs> so this is a room for, uh, is a solo journey, so one person at a time. It's a work by Jeremy Shaw, and uh, he's uh, based out of Vancouver and Berlin, and he's known for his interest in um, psychedelic drugs and um, neurological kind of um, issues. So what he's done is created a space that you can enter. It's all carpeted and quite cozy in there. And you sit on a chair and it activates a video that is quite hypnotic. So um, like a, a lot of the work in the exhibition, you're, you're not going to see representations of the body. It's about the experience of the body. And um, so this will take you through a 12 minute journey um, kind of riffing off of Scientology, hypnotic um, forms of mind control, and um, he uses VHS tape, so it's about the slow degradation of the medium itself, about our memory and um, that degradation over time. Interesting apparatus, like from the ceiling to the floor in the other room, what is that about? Yeah, those are four different works by Luann Martineau. And um, so you get a sense of hanging, a sense of sitting. There's these references to the body that she's made through felt. Um, but there's no, again, explicit reference to the body. So it's this sort of feeling of your own body in relation to the objects themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, and kind of about the messiness of bodies. So, um, you know, we all have this kind of common, very private and personal experience of our bodies, but all the work in the exhibition is about um, kind of a, a greater experience of the body as a social, political kind of entity. Interesting, interesting. So did all of these artists know each other or did you just sort of select these to come together? I just selected them. I, they may know each other. Yeah, they may know each other. Anything mm -hmm. else you want to talk about with this ex exhibition? Uh, there are three other artists, so there's there's two other kind of experiential um, projects that you can enter. One is by uh, Sarah Ann Johnson, and it's a room that you go into and you see her performing based on um, this uh, information that she had growing up about her grandmother, who was actually a patient at um, a hospital in Montreal where the CIA had funded experiments on people there, a uh, mental hospital. She'd gone in for postpartum depression and then she underwent uh, sleep deprivation, LSD experiments, um, strange experiments that were um, part of um, the CIA funded program that ended up turn turning out to be quite illegal. 
um, to figure out ways that um, during the Cold War that they could use mind control to affect people. And so unfortunately Sarah's grandmother went through this and she um, went through a lot of depression and loss of concentration, couldn't um, recognize her family after. So Sarah has researched all of this information and um, developed this performance and then you can enter this kind of clinical hospital hallway space that she calls it um, and kind of experience that for yourself. Excellent. Lots of thought provoking exhibits all conjoined into one. Yeah, there's another one by Margaret Dragu, who is an artist from Vancouver, and uh, so she's uh, created kind of a comfortable living room space, again, a place that you can enter and spend some time in, and she's looking at things like the authority of uh, the library as um, an institution, and instead offering um, stories that people might have uh, that are part of a whole database. You can sit down in these lazy boys and watch these videos of people talking about their own legacies, their own histories, and um, she talks a lot about her own aging body. Um, so it, there's lots to experience in that space as well. And then Pascal Grand Maison is the other artist, and it's more of an abstract, ethereal um, sort of video experience where you can see uh, him slow down time and these hands moving through this really rich forest, um, and then these two bubbles kind of conjoining like bodies. Fantastic. So this is on display now until the end of the year, essentially, December 31st. That's right. Excellent. Lots of time for people to come down and check it out. It's called All Membranes Are Porous. It's a collection of six different artists that Cheryl personally selected. Uh, lots of thought-provoking uh, exhibits all tied into one. We will take a quick break on midday. We'll be back in two minutes. Stay with us.